Hey y'all, it's Tech Baby. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in today's video, we are going to talk about landing pages. What is a landing page, Tech Baby? I'm about to give y'all Wikipedia's definition of what a landing page is. In online marketing, a landing page, sometimes known as a lead capture page, single property page, static page, squeeze page, or a destination page is a single web page that appears in response to clicking on a search engine, optimized search result, marketing promotion, marketing email, or an online advertisement. The landing page will usually display direct to sales copy that is a logical extension of the advertisement, search result, or link. Landing pages are used for lead generation, the actions that a visitor takes on a landing page are what determine an advertiser's conversion rate. A landing page may be part of a microsite or a single page within an organization's main website. All right, y'all, so that's what a landing page is. So the reason why I wanna talk about landing pages is because in my last video, and if you haven't watched it, make sure you tune in, I'm gonna link it at the top. But in my last video, I talked about email marketing and landing pages are going to be tied into email marketing because if you have a landing page, that is what you can use for a lead magnet, a freebie. You, hear, you will hear me talk about freebies and lead magnets. I talked about that in the last video. But in order for your customer to receive your freebie or your lead magnet, you need to make sure you have a landing page so that you can capture their email address, their first name, last name, telephone number. The landing page will give you the ability to be able to receive that information from them that you can then hold inside of your email list and you'll have all of that information in your email list that you can then use in the future for email marketing. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. We about to make a landing page, y'all. So let's get into it. I'm super excited about this. So y'all, let's go, let's go. Okay, so, <laughs> so I use ConvertKit and this, uh, this is what I'm going to use to show you how to make a landing page. Um, ConvertKit offers, they have different prices depending on how big your email list is. I'm gonna go ahead and get into creating a landing page. So once we're inside of ConvertKit, we actually have everything set up on the front end. If you want me to do a video on doing all of that, pre-work up until now, then I can do that. But as of right now, we're gonna start as if and we already have our account set up, we have our domain, uh, we have all of the things that we need to get ready to create a landing page. All right, so from here, we're gonna click on grow. We're gonna select landing pages and forms. All right, so we're gonna come over here and hit create new. This is the button, we're gonna hit create new and we're gonna click on landing page. Now, what I do love about ConvertKit is that they do have a lot of templates in here that are already pre-made. So you can kind of go through here and see which one may look the best to you. And you can kind of tweak it with your own images and text and all of that good stuff. So I am going to go through here and see which one I want to use. Kind of like this one. I think I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. So we're going to go with this one. All right, we're gonna hit choose. All right, so as you can see, this is a pre-made template, so we have to go in and put our own images, put our own text, all of that good stuff. So one thing for sure that a landing page needs is you need a title, like a heading, you need to be telling the people what it is that they're going to be consume it, like what it is that they're going to be getting from you, what it is that this landing page has to offer. This is the page that they're gonna land on and this is what's gonna display the product or service that you are trying to sell to them or give to them. So you wanna make sure you have in the top a header, a title that talks about what it is that you're offering. All right, so in this case, we are going to do a Mother's Day sale type of landing page uh, because it's May and might as well, might as well do Mother's Day. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna title it um, Mother's Day Sale. Mother's Day Sale. Then we wanna add some exclamation marks, all right? So we also wanna change the font color to make it look Good, you also wanna make sure that you have your landing page with colors that reson maybe resonate with your brand or your target audience. So I'm gonna just do pink, I'm gonna do pink, cause why not? Moms like pink, pink is pretty, we like pink, I like pink, women like pink, so we are gonna do pink, right? All right, so 
Right here is where we're going to add the description. This is where we're gonna talk about what it is that the sale consists of. So I'm just gonna say, and you can always change your, you click here on general style, you can change your uh, font if you like. I'm gonna keep it at that, I think that looks that looks pretty good. But you can change your font here under headings. You can change that font for the title, the heading of the page, and then the body font, you can change it as well. We're gonna say, we are having a sale. We are having a sale. I forgot to mention this. So, if you click inside of the description, like if you click anywhere inside of the page, you will get this plus symbol, right? So clicking on this plus symbol give you the, op the option to be able to add things inside of the page. This is where I kind of got confused at first too because I wasn't seeing how could I add things. I thought that in these templates I could only use what the templates had, but no. Make sure you're clicking inside of like, it has, if it's a header here, I did learn that if it's a header, you cannot, um, you can't hit the plus from the header. So you have to come down to somewhere else inside of the page itself and click and where, wherever you can come and see a plus, that's where you can add elements inside of the uh, page. So, I am going to, as you can see, we have this here. I will probably just leave this like it is, but I just wanted to show you that how you can add, like if you wanted to add other things, you can do that, which we are going to get to that because we want to add another box. We want to add more boxes. All right, so I'm going to change this to enter your, in for, uh, enter, inf enter information below. Enter information below. If you highlight the text, you will get these boxes that come up that allow you to be able to change, make it bold, underline it, italicize it, or change the alignment. And then this option will give you the option to be able to insert a hyperlink. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna change the font to match the Mother's Day seal, the pink at the top. Let's see if we can get, if we can get that exact color. Um, let's just go up here and copy this. I'm gonna copy this, come in C, and then I'm gonna highlight this, and then paste that in there, hit enter, all right. Now, so we got those matching. Enter information below. I'm gonna say your. Remember to, you have to tell people what to do. You have to tell them what to do. A lot of times online, you have to have call to actions, letting them know what to do. Tell them what to do. Tell them what to do. Tell them what to do. Okay, so here we have our email address box, but we don't just want that. One thing you wanna make sure you are always capturing when you have landing pages is first names. And the reason why you wanna make sure you're capturing first names is because when you start emailing these people, when you start sending out emails and e hence email marketing, you wanna use their first names when you're talking to them. These are real people with real lives, real heartbeats, real things going on on the other side of the screen, okay? So make it personal. Make sure you are getting their first names so that when you send out emails to them, you are saying, hey, Tech Baby, hey, Brenda, hey, John, hey, Mark. You wanna say their names to let them know that, hey, they are real people. Let them know that they are real people. You don't wanna be sending out emails and you sound like you just trying to get their money. Of course, we know we want to get their money. We want to market to them. We want to, you know, make offers to them. But we want, but they real people too. They want to feel like real people. Imagine like, look at the emails that you open up and the ones you don't. The ones that come to your inbox and they just got 50% off, 20% off, get this deal. The sale is ending now. Like, no, you want to make sure you are making it personal. Make it personal, make it human. Where's the human connection? <laughs> Don't be that person. Don't be that person. Don't be that business. Don't be that brand. Make it personal. So I said all that to say, back to the, back to the landing page. So we got email. We're gonna hit this plus right here to add another box. We're gonna say first name. And if you wanna get their last name, you can get their last name. If you might wanna say, you might wanna send out an email one day to say, hey, Miss. Miss Miss Jackson, hey Miss Johnson, you know I'm just saying. So 
Just saying. Uh, I'm going to say last name. And if you want to, whatever you add into these boxes is what you're going to be able to have on the back end. In this case, like inside a convert kit, I will see all of the data inside a convert kit for every subscriber based off of what they give me in the landing page. All right, so I'm going to just leave it at email address and first name and last name. And then I'm going to delete this last one. We don't want it. I just went over there, hit delete over here in the box. Now, um, if this is all we want to add to this, which I'm going to keep this one pretty simple just because. So, right here where it says sign up today. I don't want it to say that. I want mine to say something juicy. Let me see. I want mine to say something like snag your 50% off coupon right now. Boom. All right, snag your 50% off coupon now. Boom, so we are gonna make it say that. Snag your 50% off coupon now. It's just kind of a play on words for them to be like, okay, let me snag it. <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna change the background to, to the button to something bold, bright, maybe it's Mother's Day. Let's, let's probably go with, let's go with this color. It's bright, it's there, yeah. And then we are gonna change the font color because we can't see the white. We're going to change the font color to black. Snag your 50% off coupon now. Okay. Now, we are going to change the image because although she is cute, hey girl, you cute with your freckles, but we're going to change the image. So, we just simply click on the image and then we click replace and then we're going to choose a file to upload. And I already have an image downloaded straight from guess where? Canva. So we just kind of crop that right there so that they can kind of squeeze in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna hit the plus, and I'm gonna try to see about adding an image in here, adding the same image in here where it'll be like in a square. Boom. Okay, now one other thing we might wanna do is we're gonna go back to general styles over here. We're gonna change the background color. Now, the background can also be a picture, like an image if you want, or you can just change the color. I think in this case, we are just going to change the color pink. I like that pink, it's popping, it's giving razzle dazzle. Y'all, so this is our landing page. This is what people are gonna see. If you click on here, you will see preview. I like it, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. It's, it's, it has a header, it has an image, it has a description telling what they are going to receive. Now, this is important. After we finish our landing page, we are going to get another page, which is gonna be a confirmation page. You wanna make sure you have a confirmation page. Now, I wanna add you a little tip tip in here. You could upsell with your com within your confirmation page meaning your confirmation page can turn into a second landing page based on whatever you are offering you can upsell so look at it like whatever it is that they are opting in for on that landing page think of what you have to offer them that relates to whatever that product or service is that are also be beneficial for them. Make it something that they could be like, oh my God, I can't resist this. I gotta have it. It's an ebook about your favorite recipes, your top five favorite recipes that you're giving away for free. Make the upsell a book with all 20 plus recipes. You know what I'm saying? This is what you can use to make an upsell from your opt-in, like from your freebie or your lead magnet, whatever it is that you offer. In this case, we aren't gonna upsell here, but I just wanted to add that tip in so that you know that you can have, you can use your confirmation page as another landing page, okay? So right here in ConvertKit, we're gonna hit Add Page, because now you see it says thank you. Yeah, it could be a thank you page, confirmation page. Mellolite, I think, name calls it confirmation. It just depends on what system you're using, but it's all doing the same thing. Boom, so now we have thank you for signing up. Da -da -da -da. So I could probably just add an image here. I'll probably put that same image here um, and then say thank you for signing up. And then I wanna tell them, please check your inbox for your special coupon um if you don't see it if you don't see it right away if you don't see it right away check back after a few minutes or check 
your spam folder, period. Boom, so we're gonna hit save. Yes, we are done. We just created a whole landing page, y'all. Ah, I'm so excited. So now we hit save, and then the only way this landing page is going to be active is if you hit publish. So we wanna hit publish. Boom, ConvertKit gives us a whole link that we can use to start sharing out with people. You now have a landing page. I'm gonna hit copy right here. We're gonna hit this new tab, and we're gonna paste our link inside of there to see what our landing page look like. Ah, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is our landing page, and then we can put our information in there, and we have a complete landing page, y'all. So this is how you make a landing page. You can take that link, you can put it in your bio, you can put it in your YouTube channel description, you can put it all over Facebook, you can put it everywhere. This is how you make a landing page and convert kit. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Send me a DM. Also, I have a free guide on mastering your email list for beginners. Make sure you check it out in the description below. And until next time, remember, do not stress because with Tech Baby, you will become the best. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna see y'all next time, okay? Bye.